Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking all about increasing your milk supply. So if that is something that interests you, please keep on watching. Okay, so I wanna start off this video like I start off all of my breastfeeding videos, especially, because I want you to know that the way you feed your baby does not define you as a mother. So if you're someone that's on a breastfeeding journey and you wanna stop, that's okay. If you're someone that's on a breastfeeding journey and wants to move to exclusively pumping, that's okay. If you wanna move to formula, that's okay. Okay. Don't let anyone tell you that you have to feed your baby a certain way. As long as your baby is being fed, that is okay, and you're doing a great job, mama. I also have to say, <laughs> you guys already know the spiel, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a lactation consultant, so please guys, do not come for me. All I'm doing is telling you the information that I've learned along my journey through research and just experiencing it myself. So if you you are looking for concrete medical advice, I really suggest you seek out a doctor, a nurse, or a lactation consultant. They are there to help you medically. I'm going to give you seven ways that I personally used to increase my milk supply. And, and to be completely honest, guys, some of these I don't even use them anymore only because they gave me too much milk. Yes, I had an oversupply by using some of these strategies that I'm gonna talk about today. I am aware that everyone's body is different, so I'm not saying that these strategies will work for you, but if you do wanna increase your milk supply, I do suggest that you give some of these things a try, cause it could work for you. You never know until you try. So let's jump right on into those tips and tricks. Okay, so tip number one would be to feed your baby on demand. Whenever your baby is hungry, feed them. Because when your baby nurses and when they latch onto your breast, it's sending signals to your body saying that, hey, the baby is feeding longer, which means that we need more milk. Or the baby's feeding more often, we need to produce more milk. So by feeding your baby on demand, that's basically nature's natural way of producing more milk for you. So the next two have to deal with pumping. The first one is kind of like a moderate one and then the second one is for like extreme cases. So the second tip that I wanna tell you is to pump in between feedings. So if your baby feeds every three hours, in between the times that they're not feeding, I want you to pump. Because a pump activates your breast just like a baby feeding would be. And the next one is kind of like an extreme case. It's called like power pumping. I'll let you do research and look up, you know, the specifics of power pumping, but basically it's after you feed, you like wait 10 minutes and then you pump for like 20 minutes and then you wait 10 minutes and then you pump again. So it's basically like quick burst of using the pump. So again, you're still stimulating your breasts, you're still telling your body that hey, we need to make more milk, but you're just doing it more extreme and at a quicker, more rapid rate. So the next one is kind of self-explanatory. I've mentioned this before in previous videos on this um, breastfeeding pumping journey series that I've been doing, and it's basically drink more water. So if your body is not hydrated, you're not going to even be able to produce enough milk that you need to feed your baby. So making sure you are hydrated, you stay hydrated. I like to shoot for drinking a gallon of water a day because in my mind, I'm like, okay, a gallon should give me enough that I need in order to be able to make enough milk. So drink, 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 drink your water. And I'm telling you, you will notice a difference in your supply. So drink that water, girl. So the next one is to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables and make sure you're getting your correct nutrients. And a good way to make sure you're getting all of the nutrients that you need for your body is to continue taking your prenatal vitamins. So eating fruits and vegetables is like a natural way of making sure that you have the nutrients that you need in order to produce the milk, but also taking those prenatal vitamins even after you deliver, if you are a breastfeeding mom, is very beneficial. So if you are unsure if you should be taking prenatal vitamins or not, I would definitely run it by my doctor, ask them if they think that you are a good candidate to continue to take your prenatal vitamins, but most doctors are 
gonna recommend that if you are breastfeeding to continue to take them just so you can get those nutrients that you need. The next one going along with food is to eat lactation cookies. Now they make lactation cookies that you can buy in the store. However, you can also make them at your house. If you just Google um, or look on Pinterest for like lactation cookie recipes, you will be able to find a slew of a different recipes that you can try. Most of them having the main ingredients of oat. So also eating oatmeal would be beneficial. I don't know the science behind oatmeal and why oatmeal helps you produce milk but I know that many of the recipes have oatmeal in it as one of their main ingredients so oatmeal is very helpful too so make those lactation cookies and if you like oatmeal girl eat you some more oatmeal because that will definitely help and you will notice a difference in your milk supply so the next suggestion I have is to drink the body armor drinks I know that sounds crazy I don't know why the body armor drinks are good at producing milk um, let me go look at the ingredients real quick so I want to say it's the coconut water um, <laughs> yep it has coconut water in here. So cane sugar, coconut water, and a bunch of other random stuff, a bunch of vitamins. Yeah, I'm really, I'm almost 100% sure that it's the coconut water. These are what they look like. I also have a picture of them in my thumbnail. Um, but look up body armor drinks and get you some of these. But the thing about these are, I cannot drink one of these every day. Like literally, I have to drink one and it has to be like throughout the week. I had a oversupply of milk. And I know some, some of you ladies are probably like, that's amazing. It can be good, but then it also has its negative benefits as well. It seemed like I couldn't get the milk out fast enough. And then when I pumped, it, it you know, it stimulated my body to make more milk. So then I had too much milk. So I kind of had to like learn how to wean myself off so that that I could, you know, have a normal, like, so I could have the amount of milk that my baby needed. Um, not having, I didn't want to have too much milk. But if you are struggling in that department of producing milk, I would definitely get one of these. Um, it, it helped me tremendously. And hopefully it will help you on your journey and help you produce the milk that you need. But again, be careful with these because I'm telling you, you might get too much milk. So take it really slow as you drink them. All right guys, so that is all of the tips that I have for you. And I know this was a quick little short video, but I just wanted to give you those tips so that you could help increase your milk supply and have a wonderful breastfeeding experience for you and your baby. So if you like this video, I would appreciate if you liked it. It helps my channel out tremendously. And if you like the content that I produce on this channel, hit the subscribe button and become part of our family. But anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.